company is one of the key players in the local property sector. He has about 25 years of experience in the field of real estate and is considered the leading broker in the country. Let's know more about David Lee Chu. My personal philosophy in achieving success is uh, you need luck in life and in business. But the harder you work, the more lucky you get. And I think that stuck a lot with me. I also picked up quite a lot from the SM family. And the one thing that we learned from them is to be modest and reasonable and respectful and never use your power against people. So I guess my, my journey started when we went through the early 80s during the Marcos crisis, the later part of the Marcos crisis. And the economy was doing very, very bad. And my parents lost everything. So we had cars, we had TV, we had business, and then all that got wiped out in the uh, Marcos crisis. It taught me how to be more realistic about life and about how hard life will be without money and without vision and without sanity. When my parents lost their businesses and all their possessions and all their assets, interest rates were at 40% to 50% during those years. It was choking so many businesses and so the only way my parents could make money is if people lent them goods in the morning, they would sell during the day, and then they would pay those people back in the evening. So that's how our life was like for many years. And we went from no savings to one day of savings to one week of savings. And for most of their life, my parents never had more than three months worth of savings. And so the only way we were able to do that is when they earned the trust of people who were willing to help them when they had nothing but their name. One thing that many people don't know is that I got kicked out of high school. And I got kicked out because, you know, we were so distracted. Things were medyo magulo at that time in the economy and in the house, in our relationships. And so, when I was lucky enough to enter the school called Center for Research and Communication at that time, which is now called University of Asia and the Pacific, that's when I learned how to study. That's when I learned to discover the lust for learning. And I, I was able to organize my life. I am a banana. I am yellow outside, but I am white inside. So my family is a member of a, of a clan that is probably 300 people. And of the 300 people, I am the only one who cannot speak Chinese. And so this, the discrimination against me, I guess, was pretty intense because I couldn't speak Chinese. And I hung out with many non-Chinese friends and I always spoke in English. I, I took uh, management, entrepreneurial management. So it supposedly taught you how to set up a business. And that's also the time when I started learning about the stock market uh, when I was 18. When I graduated in 1994, and if you didn't have any money, the two industries that you can make a lot of money quickly would be the stock market and the real estate market. And I chose the real estate market because I thought it was more stable. And that's what led me to start this journey of real estate. And that was 28 years ago now. The biggest difficulty I had back in the 90s and early 2000s when I started my business was I was the first local manager of an international brokerage business. So all my competitors were run by expats and I was the only local when I was still working for a company called FPD Savills. I think the biggest lessons I've learned in the Filipino Chinese community is that the work ethic is what will differentiate success with failure. If you have work ethic, that is a necessary formula for success. And part of that work ethic is that your word means a lot. Our business has not evolved earning the trust of clients face-to-face, -face, the old way. And so one of the few tools that have been very successful for us is using this product called Amber by Globe My Business. 500 people with one text message has been very effective and powerful for us. 
th I think the formulas are the same from the way we started in the very, very beginning to today, which is we just have to be realistic. We have to be grounded. We have to be hardworking. We cannot be sloppy. We cannot be mediocre. And we have to keep adapting. We always ask ourselves, what is the new trend? What pieces of information that are not relevant today that will be relevant tomorrow? We have to always lead from the front and we always have to move as a team. So this is not a business where individuals win. Um, this is a business where teams win. To be leaders in our field, we have to do more than the people below us. I think success is being happy with your achievements while having big dreams. You have to aspire for things greater and go beyond yourself. One of the things that we did was to protect people first. People always comes first in our business, so we had to make sure that everyone is safe. We've done all these protocols in the office and we monitor people's movement on a daily basis. The second thing is that we have told our people what Jack Ma tells his people. So Jack Ma's, one of the things that Jack Ma said was customers first, employees second, shareholders third. A lot of people are quick to criticize and provide unsolicited advice to many people. I think it all starts with us. We have to continue to always do the right thing. I, I always tell my friends, if we want this country to prosper, we have to do our part. We have been blessed tremendously for being where we are. Even six months into the pandemic, we have not laid off anybody. We continue to grow and generate revenue in this business. We continue to be profitable during these times of the goodwill that many clients have given us. And that's because of the goodwill that many of our partners have given us. Post-pandemic, we will be where we were before the pandemic and where we are today. We expect ourselves to be holding the leadership in the brokerage business. My name is David Lee Chu, Lee Xiongche, and I am a modern Tao Ke.